Hey everybody, Martin here, your favorite Regina Realtor, and we're in April and it's tax season, so I thought I'd make a quick tax-friendly uh, video to help you maximize your returns on tax uh, as a homeowner or as a first-time homebuyer. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Okay, so the first one is the GST and HST rebate. So who's eligible? Well, anyone who's purchased a new home, who builds new homes, um, or who has done a massive uh, substantial renovation to their uh, existing residential property. So uh, that, those are the people that are eligible. The eligible properties are of course either new homes or something that's been substantially renovated and you can apply for this uh, GST or HST rebate through the uh, Government of Canada website. Okay, the second one is the uh, first time home buyers tax credit. Uh, so. It's a $10,000 non-refundable tax credit uh, for eligible first-time home buyers uh, that gets you up to $1,500 in tax relief. So eligible, of course, are people who have never owned a home or haven't bought a home in the last four years. Um, and the qualifying homes are basically any primary residence in Canada. Uh, the claim process is basically done through your accountant uh, on your 31270 uh, tax form. <laughs> so just remember that, okay? Okay, the next one is the uh, home accessibility tax credit. So again, up to ten thousand uh, dollars in fifteen hundred dollars per year uh, of tax credit, and it's for anyone that's making their home uh, accessible for somebody with disabilities. Uh, so the qualifying home is obviously anything that's been renovated to improve accessibility for a senior person or somebody that's um, disabled, uh, and you can uh, you can also claim that through your accountant uh, on the year that the uh, on the tax year that the uh, improvements were made. Another tax credit you can apply for is the $7,500 multi-generational tax credit. So basically, that uh, is when you renovate your home, uh, you get up to $7,500 back on your taxes uh, if you renovate it to accommodate a senior uh, a family member or uh, another family member with a disability in order to live with you. So if you're renovating your home to create a suite for uh, your grandma or grandpa or somebody with a disability, you can apply for up to $7,500 in tax credit. and that. Uh, can be done, of course. Any residential property applies as long as uh, you're living there. Another important one is the uh, rental income deduction. So basically, this allows landlords to deduct any expenses relating to uh, general um, rental income, including mortgage interest or any property taxes or any kind of expenses like insurance, etc. So basically, if you earn rental income from any residential or commercial property, you can you can have qualifying deductions. This is pretty simple and obvious, but I just want to go over it. So anything like mortgage interest, um, any repairs you're doing, property taxes, uh, insurance, uh, utilities, if you're paying those. So those are actually qualifying uh, rental income deductions. So make sure you deduct those off the income that you're making every year. Okay, that's all I've got for today. I hope you find it uh, useful and um, informative. If you have any questions, give me a call 306-527-0500 or martin at reginaexperts.ca. Okay, I hope you're having a great day. Cheers.